So, hi guys, Constantin here from CGC, and uh, today I've got a short video about a Corsair power supply cable adapter, which um, you may or may not have to buy depending on your GPU. So the full story of this um, is, well, with the GeForce 40 series being announced, uh, I've just read a... Um, uh, well, I found a website on, well, I went on Corsair website and they said they have a cable adapter uh, for uh, the new generation of graphics cards. Now, that website was the US website of Corsair. So when I clicked on the buy link, because it actually had one, it took me to the UK site um, so to buy the cable adapter, which I did. So I purchased the cable adapter thinking that this is for uh, the new GeForce 40 series cards. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, when I received it, I just received it a couple of hours ago, when I received the cable, it something looked a bit odd, because literally there was, um, uh, I had the cable, but there was no mentioning of any GeForce 40 series on it, although on the website there was, there was like mentioning of the GeForce 40 series and wattage and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to do a quick unboxing to show it to you, and then I'm going to tell you that this cable is for the current 30 series so it's a cable adapter for 40 series it goes from two type 3 or type 4 uh corsair uh what you call them, adapters to a 12 pin adapter but this only works for geforce 30 series so if you got a geforce 30 series card especially founders editions because of they are the only one that have um implemented a 12 pin uh, 12 volt phvr cable uh, you can get it, but if you bought a 40, if you plan on buying a 40 series card, I do recommend you don't get it. I think they're gonna release a new cable either this week or in the following weeks, but uh, it's definitely not this one. So let me just do a quick unboxing for you, and I'll show you why. So what it is is, you get the cable itself, and you just just get a leaf slit. With just some information on it which is totally useless it doesn't say what the power range that you can use it and stuff like that now the cable itself is 660 millimeter uh, long which is quite all right for any regular cases i'm i'm assuming um matx uh so midi towers cases something like that it will, will work just fine now you've got two they're saying type 3 I'm just going to go back a little bit to type 3 slash type 4 pins here and one 12 volt pin here which goes into the GeForce 30 series founders edition now on their website and I'm going to show you their website in a minute the new cable has the actual 4 pin as well here so on the GeForce 30 series, although they've implemented the cable, they haven't fully done an implementation because there was no ATX 3.0 power supplies, so they didn't do the 4-pin bit at the end. On the GeForce 40 series cable adapter uh, from uh, Corsair, which they, I'm hoping they will release soon, they did put, I can show you, I'll show you a picture on the website, they did put a 4-pin um, little cable here as well on top. So, um, the, the cables might be different. It might work, it might not work. I'm not going to test it, to be honest, because um, it's going to be a really expensive graphics card, and I don't want to do anything stupid like that, especially with electricity. But just so, so be warned, as of right now, in the UK, do not purchase the 12-pin GPU power cable if you plan to run a GeForce um, 40 series, because I don't think it's uh, compatible. It's not on the uh, cable here and it's not on the website. There's a link here on top of this thing which takes you to the website but it does not mention the GeForce 40 series at all. So personally, uh, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I might just keep it for another build or not. I might just return it. But I know it's definitely not compatible and I won't be using it in the GeForce 40 series. I would rather use the cable that it came up with. It would have been a bit more convenient because there's less cables in the um, you know, there's less cables in the case, it just looks better. Uh, I'd rather have two cables than uh, one cable going from the PSU to the GPU rather than having like um, 
to connections and stuff like that. It's just less messy. It's, it's way better. I would recommend it. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I hope this is useful. I'll put it, publish it as quick as I can. Thank you very much, guys. And if you want to see more silly videos like this, just, you know, subscribe, click the bell thingy, and cheers.